Hey guys, this is Christopher's one of our patients. Uh, he's been coming in for two months. When he came in, he couldn't move your neck at all, right? No, I couldn't look at you like this. Yeah, uh, I'd have to be basically where the camera's at for him to be able to see me. So, yeah. you know, we've only been with you for two months. You're heading off the temple. Congratulations, that's awesome. Excited for you. Thank I'm also you. a little bit sad because you're going to leave me. But, you know, what are some of the things and changes in your body that you've seen with upper cervical care? I've noticed that first, I slept a lot. And it didn't catch me by surprise. I was very well prepared for the process that I was getting into, but I definitely slept more and I started to be able to just move my head. So I had to be really fragile and careful with myself before I came in and afterwards I was able to go back to looking around and being able to, when I went to stores, looking up at top shelves and not having to worry about hurting myself. That's huge. So would you say we've made pretty good progress in the two months you've been coming in? Yep. Yeah, you're gonna continue our cervical care when you get up to? I am. Good old temple? Yes. Awesome. If you guys are dealing with any neck stiffness, any tightness in the neck, inability to turn your head, that's usually a really good sign to say there's more than likely an upper cervical misalignment up top. So if you're noticing turning to the left a little bit easier than the right or vice versa, please give us a call. We'll be able to check you out, see exactly what's going on, get you some results like Christopher got.